Hello, Mioni here, and I thought I'd make a video here of Elite Dangerous. The uh, recent update for the game has come out, and uh, one of its best features, my favourite feature amongst all others, is this debug camera. Uh, the debug camera allows you to view the outside of your ship. If you are unfamiliar with Elite Dangerous, essentially before this, uh, you weren't actually able to see what the outside of your ship looked like apart from in the hangar, and you certainly couldn't walk around and have a look at it. Uh, and that's still sort of the case, but now we have the ability to clip outside uh, and view an external camera. It's got some really cool sort of functionality. You actually control it with the same controls you do with your ship. So it's a little bit jerky as you can see here. Uh, I try to film in a decent resolution here and decent frames per second. Hopefully it comes across decent on YouTube. Who knows? Might butcher it a little bit. But this is my ASP. This is a Lacon ASP, uh, an explorer vessel. I'm currently 5,000 light years away from uh, known civilization or civilized space. So that's the reason this video is going to be a little bit sparse in terms of what I show. Um, but out here, the patch has pretty much only affected this, uh, my ability to basically look at spaceship porn. So as you can see here, uh, there isn't actually anybody flying the ship, even though blatantly I am flying it out here in the cosmos. Um, but the detail on these ships before now hasn't really been apparent, so, uh, so to speak. It's been fairly, you know, undetermined, unless you obviously saw someone else's ship, and nine times out of ten, when you see other people or other vessels, they want to either destroy you, so you end up fleeing from them, or you don't see them that much because you're too busy putting lasers into them. Um, but look at this, this is beautiful. It does mean that you can get some really top quality screenshots. Uh, this, uh, the uh, the Elite Dangerous Reddit has been uh, flooded with some beautiful shots. Uh, this here, this uh, this is actually a four-star system. I know there's like binary and trinary systems, but I'm not really sure what you call a four-star system um, with a few planets out here. Uh, we're actually near the Jellyfish Nebula, which is 5,000 light years from Sol and civilized space. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd take a look around. All in all, Elite Dangerous has been keeping my attention. I really want to make some more content uh, for the YouTube channel, but I've not really been feeling the best lately, and uh, it's only up until now that I felt like sharing something. Um, basically, it's nice and relaxing. I was thinking of uh, doing some Besiege content. I really enjoyed that game. It's an early access game where you get to create uh, medieval devices to clear levels. Quite fun. Um, I'm pretty sure we could have some fun with that. But apart from that, I've been playing a bit of Blade and Soul. Um, this is something that I might also show if I can think of something to uh, to share with people. Maybe just my opinion so far. I've been playing on a Russian server for that um, with the English patch. So uh, it's not indicative of what it might be when it comes over here, but it gives me an idea whether I like that game or not. So far, I quite like it, but uh, mostly I've been relaxing, watching um, some series uh, which I haven't kept up with, and playing a bit of Elite Dangerous. Look at that, isn't that absolutely beautiful? I am open to suggestions of what people would like to see on the channel. I am planning to do the Besiege content, sort of like a, a bit of a mini-series um, I will actually do, because it's quite fun. Uh, not so much Let's Plays though, you know I'm never one to stick to a, a plan when it comes to that stuff. But um, I am open to suggestions. Uh, hopefully this 60 frames per second thing comes off well on YouTube. That's kind of what I'm trying here today with this video, it's more of a bit of a demo of that. Uh, see if this 1080p 60 frames per second works. So let me know if you think that it's not up to scratch. It should be, but um, I might have a few problems with encoding that you could suggest alternatives for. Anyway, all in all, this is a bit of a short video and a bit of a boring one maybe, but I just thought I'd check in. It's been a while since I've made a video and I am starting to edge towards making more videos again. Uh, as you hear time and time again from YouTubers, no doubt. But uh, I'm firmly in the belief that I should be back making some content, even if it's just for my own enjoyment and not for people to actually watch. So uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy
like that. For Elite Dangerous, I feel that uh, the best thing I can do is probably a little like mini documentary of one of my exploration missions, because um, uh, it'll, it'll be hard to really record, but maybe just including some of the more spectacular views like this, for example, and uh, documenting some science stuff along the way. If you'd like the you know the sign sound of that, uh, let me know again. But that's pretty much it from me, guys. Let me know the quality of the video and what you want to see, and uh, I hope to see you soon, actually. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.